Hello and welcome to Tech It Tutorials. I'm Jimmy, um, and today I am teaching you all about rubber trees. So these are rubber trees. Um, some distinguishing features are they have like columns of leaves on top of them. Um, yeah, like that, three or two high usually, uh, but nothing else beside them. So it. it they're always looking like weird and pointy. Um, okay, so that's that's what they look like. Another distinguishable feature, which is only if you're playing in fast mode, um, is that these leaves are opaque, while these are translucent. Uh, but if you're playing in like fancy graphics, then they're both translucent, so that doesn't actually help most of you. Anyways, uh, that is how to distinguish rubber trees. Um, moving on. So rubber trees are the only way to produce industrial craft rubber. Um, I know there is, in TechIt, there is uh, also Red Power 2 rubber but I'm not actually sure if they're different. I know they have different trees. I'm not sure how the red power ones work. So I'm teaching you about industrial craft. Anyways, so here we have the trees. Uh, the first thing to do when you find these, um, they're often very rare. The best place to find them is swamp biomes. Um, but everywhere else, they're like, you know, not very common. I don't think they grow in snowy biomes at all. They definitely don't grow in deserts. Uh, anywhere else where you can find trees, they probably grow, but not very, very much. So swamp biomes are the place to be. Okay, um, so as I said, the first thing to do is take off the leaves. Uh, the reason for this is a to expose any resin that is on the bark underneath, and b to gather saplings from them. Um, if you don't have very many, like these don't actually give you very many saplings. Um, I think I've read that the average is half a sapling per tree. So for every two trees, you'll get one sapling. I've had better results generally. Usually it's about one to one. Sometimes you'll get a, an extra one. And it, it, you know, it all depends. It's random. One time I had a very small tree like that first one that I was doing and I got three saplings from it, and then I had a big tree like this one, and I only got none. So, you know, it, it really depends on how the cards deal, or how the dice roll, or whatever else kind of metaphor you want to use. Um, but... Once you have a gotten rid of all the leaves, then um, also don't worry about the trees. They don't die when you take the leaves off. They uh, are still very much alive. The reason that I say that is because dead trees don't produce rubber um, and live ones do. The difference between a dead tree and a live tree, a dead tree uh, will not have this bottom trunk here. It'll be gone because you took it. A live tree will still have it because you didn't take it. Um, these trees don't have like any rubber on them. I'm gonna go see if I can find the old ones that I did. Ah, uh, here they are. So I took all the leaves off of these ones and they do have rubber. So this is what it looks like. This is actually resin, not rubber. Um, and you have to create a tree tap, which is this thing that I'm holding. It's very easy to make, you just put wood in this shape, and there you have a tree tap. I think you can use it either 10 or 15 times. Um, and you just right click on the tree, and it spits out 1 to 3 sticky resin, is what it's called. Um, and once that has been accomplished, also as you can see, these are very short trees. The reason for that is I took the tops off. You can't take the bottoms off, because that'll kill them, but you can take the tops off, and they're fine. So here you can see, 
this kind of uh, pentagon shape is where the resin used to be before I took it and you can tap that again but sometimes it dies um, usually you'll get a bit of resin from it I didn't that time it's okay because there's still more down there um, <coughs> anyways you don't want to do that because then you won't get any more resin from it but if you leave it as is uh, the resin will regenerate and you can use it again so that's what that's all about farming and all that uh, you plant your trees and then you harvest resin that from them forever after um, but yeah so when you find rubber trees you take off their leaves expose all the resin take any of the wood on top because you can turn that into rubber as well but once you get down to the point like this where there's the thing don't take this log or anything below it because it'll die and stop producing rubber and you're screwed um, also these trees grow like normal trees you can use bone meal on them um, and yeah all that kind of thing it's like a tree except rubber um, I'm not really sure what else to say now uh, well <clears throat> in that case allow me to lead you on a short journey across this hill and river to my lovely home here it is with its grand entrance made of three different kinds of wood that middle one is great wood planks not pine and it's not it's not a very big house um, I'm playing on peaceful so I didn't really see the need to make it ginormous um, but yeah so basically once you have your resin you can smelt it in the furnace <coughs> um, I'm not really sure why I'm telling you all this everything's on the wiki um, mostly the reason for this video is to kind of give you a little strategy when it comes to dealing with trees so that you don't destroy them and no longer have any rubber to do anything with um, but sorry for my uh, spaciness I made this video before and realized that the sound effects were turned too high and then I had to redo it so now I'm not actually sure if I've gone over some of the things that I keep wanting to say and so I'm hesitant but I will say that um, a good idea is to keep one sapling a rubber tree sapling um, as I said they are rare so or supposed to be anyways um, so if you keep one safe in a chest somewhere <coughs> then once you get an energy condenser you can clone it um, a good uh, material for that is iron which will give you like eight saplings per iron um, ingot or or if you happen to somehow get some of that never mind I don't even know what I'm saying now of course you can get iron ore <sighs> yeah um, it's late I'm tired I'm sorry really I am um, this video is basically finished uh, maybe I'll just go over the things one more time if you find rubber trees take off their leaves don't chop down the wood until you know that there's no resin in it um, and what and by that I mean like there's no resin like possibly able to be in it if those taps are still there it'll come back so don't like take it out and then chop down the tree because then you won't have any resin anymore um, as you can see this one has come back uh, so these keep you know they keep you supplied um, but in the case of some of these trees there are no taps 
and so they're basically useless trees. So go ahead and take them down. The wood you can... I don't know if you can smelt it or just use the uh, exchange... no, something. The thing, the one thing that they have in industrial craft to make the wood into rubber. So that's a good use for it. You can't make other wood into rubber, just rubber wood. Um, la la la. Okay, so a quick update on my channel. Um, I was making a temple something, a uh, temple escape. I wasn't making it, I was playing it. Um, I was playing the temple escape map and things happened with um, the audio in it. It got screwed up and fixing it caused it to be like huge files. Um, so it was really bad. I couldn't really upload it because it was taking forever. Like one video, which was 10 minutes, was taking like all day even with high-speed internet and all that kind of thing. Uh, so I decided to scrap that project. Um, so it's no longer on YouTube. I only had the first episode up, but I've taken it down. And uh, so if you had watched that episode and wanted to see the rest, um, probably by now you've gone and seen somebody else's video on it. And if you're still waiting for mine for some reason, uh, just leave a comment and I'll do it again. Um, and hopefully this time things will go smoothly. Uh, but yeah, so sorry about that. Um, and in other news, um, I'm going to be starting a Pokemon Fire, no, sorry, Leaf Green playthrough. Uh, I have played through Fire Red almost completely. Um, and so I'll be doing a leaf green so I can fill up the fire red Pokédex. Uh, so I'll, I'll basically just be doing like a quick run through, and making sure that I capture all of the exclusives to f to leaf green uh, during that. But other than that, I'll just be you know quick quick run through, uh, get my basic team of six and smash all the opposition, um, and then I'll be uh, also making a video on how to link to uh, Game Boys together on your computer, if you have emulators. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, um, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, if you'd like to see more, then subscribe and you'll have your news feed to make sure that you don't miss any episodes. Um, I'll probably be doing a Tech It or Technic playthrough soon. Um, hopefully I'll get better at single player commentating because it's likely that I won't have anybody to play on Tech It with me as they're mostly busy with school and or other YouTube channels. So I think that's about it. Um, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.